So the big question you have is how to meditate properly and is there even such thing as properly? Today there's so many modalities, so many different ways. People say guided meditation, visualization, chakra meditation, music meditation, so many different meditations. And I thought instead of me answering those questions for you to actually have Grandmaster Akshar here, thank you, um, uh, to share his wisdom on this topic. Uh, um, practitioner, uh, a, a student, a master, a grandmaster who's been practicing this for many, many, many years um, to actually share his insights. Um, so I think the first thing is, is there such thing as properly? Uh, it is actually. Yeah. So the, there is a meditation properly. So, so what is the properly then? Properly in this, uh, uh, in this context or in this journey means perfection mm -hmm. so when you are meditating it need to be done with perfection otherwise it's not meditation it's the same thing what we are living or what we are doing which is disturbed anything done with the meditative state is life so when you say proper meditation that means you want to learn a technique in a structured way mm -hmm which is having a beginning and conclusion. Mm -hmm. We use the language yoga as a journey. Mm -hmm. So it's not only journey, there is a destination. Mm -hmm. This destination is on meditation. Meditation will decide your destination. Meditation will decide your destination. Yeah. So what is meant by that? In, in a process of uh, learning, Meditation is the seventh stage where people, they know that they reached, they achieved. And when they open that eye, that manifestation happens, that life happens. So when I'm meditating, I'm meditating with, with guidance, with reason, with training. There are many ways to do. People, those who are beginner, their process is different. Their goals are different. People, those who achieve that, those who understand that now there is something more, they go on advanced level of meditations. Mm. Their processes are different, mm. their techniques are different. Mm. And once you achieve that, of course, there is mastery on meditation. Uh, so what you're saying is depending on where in the journey they are, the meditation will vary. Yes. Okay. So what are your thoughts on, because now, I mean, spirituality, uh, yoga, this meditation, all of these things are becoming more and more popular. And it's been, a lot of things are very commercial as well. You know, people have loads of different things, like a chakra bracelet that just m opens up their chakras, you know, <laughs> things like this. It's like, so like, what about all these modality? People say like guided meditation, visualization, like uh, subliminal messages, meditation, affirmation, meditation. Are these meditation or is that just focusing on something or how, how, how? They, they are part of meditation and uh, Rick what happens human is very dynamic we know everything if I'm a practitioner I know everything what is happening with me and that's the life you learn in this process so it's not it's not possible that immediately you get the you get the ultimate result of meditation. Yeah. You will get experience where you know you go through with these kind of languages where subliminal training you do, you do affirmation, you do a thinking, you manifestation meditation. All these things builds your experience, builds your capacity. Yeah. People they are not sometime. Uh, ready to sit for five minutes. Yeah. So when when you're saying that uh, whole world is getting influenced by you know these movements and like the way how you you are serving the community, people at least you see they are in positive direction. They are doing something which is good. So we on mountains we believe that let them do. A time will come when they really they they themselves they know that where they are and what they want. And they they will be they will be doing what they need to do. So, with people out there right now thinking, um, like, what meditation should they practice? What meditation is right for them? Are you saying that they should just go around this journey, test different things, and figure out? Or? Not to not to get disturbed by that. If whatever they are doing, don't think that oh I did something wrong. 
Okay. In your learning, you learn. You don't There's do no anything wrong. wrong. Yeah. Keep learning that, whatever yeah. you are doing. But now, when Eric is sharing this message with you and the concern is learn meditation properly, become sincere with your approach, become sincere with your desire. Yes, I want to become a meditator. Learn this in a process. Wherever you are learning, whomever you are, uh, you know, you are surrendered with your energies, please make sure that that energy is responsible and accountable for your meditation. That's what we believe and we learn that my, my person is my accountable for my meditation. So, so, so maybe some, some people who are watching this actually, I'm just thinking about the questions we've had in the past. People may actually need to know why they want meditation because I think like I said I think a lot of them to be honest I think they're out there they, they want to sit in this pose they don't know what anything's doing they just want to do it for an Instagram photo you know it's it's current it's popular so like maybe to give you guys a bit of an insight like why meditate in the first place well who should meditate why should they meditate what is med meditation for like those who are desiring those who those who believe in love happiness peace should meditate those who believe in life should meditate. Otherwise, we, we are here and any time this may leave. So, if you really want to live here, you need to become a meditator. Okay. So, what are the benefits if they do practice meditation? Everything becomes beautiful. Everything. Nothing disturbs, nothing distracts. Meditator means who knows what he is doing or she is doing what need to be done, how need to be done, what they are expecting, what they will achieve. They know everything. It's like you are becoming owner of your thoughts. You are becoming decision maker of your existence. But at the same time, I know a lot of people are thinking, Eric, uh, Grandmaster, I've got a very busy schedule, you know? I, I've got a lot of things to get on with in my life, you know? Like, uh, I need to sit there and uh, they feel like they're doing nothing. What is your answer to that? Precaution is better than cure. You should not fall into the trap of pain and miseries. Many times you have everything, but then you, you don't smile, you don't laugh, you don't live. It's, it's good that if you, are, if you are able to understand the power of meditation, balance your life now so that you can live tomorrow. Yeah. Whatever schedule is, yeah. meditation will never ask you to spend years together. Yeah. There are different reasons those who spend those kind of you know, trainings. It, the meditation is not something which is uh, complicated, which is tough. Uh -huh. It's a minute practice. It's yeah. a five minutes practice. Yeah. Depends what you want, yeah. why, which kind of meditation you need, what is required in your life. So there is possibility of minute meditation, one minute. Yeah. There is possibility of five minute meditation, yeah. a 20 minute meditation. Yeah. So it depends on our practitioner, what they want. Is it possible to give the general something they can practice there are two things which i feel can be done immediately mm -hmm. one is pray pranam meditation and in this the posture is a very easy posture the way how i'm sitting right now this is sukh asan back need to be strong so that it shows to the energies that you're alert and you hold the pranam and you close your eyes and just be there is no movement of desires or thoughts you just hold the pranam gentle breathing and you hold pranam you're done with that next is prapti receive i bow down to energies that meditation which is known as pranam dhyan and then prapti dhyan dhyan meditation to receive so you see eric here there is reason what you do, why you are doing. Mm. That, that's the beauty of meditation. Meditation mm. is people sometimes they think that you close your eyes. You don't close your eyes. Mm. You are opening your energies. Mm -hmm. That focus is required. That's why you close your eyes. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. I keep hearing when we, uh, when we learn this archery. Mm. Uh, our master, they used to say that before you target, close your eyes. Mm. So in, at that time, we never understood the close eyes, how I will. But that is the <laughs> balance your breath. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are observing now. Mm -hmm. Those who balance themselves, mm -hmm. those who meditate, mm -hmm. they achieve the best. Nice, nice. Beautiful. 
So there you have it, how to meditate properly and something you can actually just take away and start practicing straight away and have a little bit more understanding around it. If this video has been useful to you at all, if you gained any wisdom or knowledge from it, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also comment below, let us know any other questions you may have. I always say you don't ask, you don't get, so make sure to ask it below. Also, if you're new to this channel, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it because this year we're making a whole bunch of videos to hold you accountable in your spirituality, in your life, to hold you accountable, to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, let's